Okay, let's create some pixie dust. I'm going to do a quick ramp preview so you can see what we're going to be working on here. This is this uh, fun little pixie dust trail. Now to give you an idea of what's going on here, uh, first of all, a couple of things. One, you're going to need trap code particular to do this particular tutorial. Um, all the, the all of the particles that you're seeing here were done in trap code particular. So without that, you won't be able to follow along. And you probably should be at least a medium or or, or above, just a little above, to uh, to do this particular tutorial. If you're just getting started, this might be a little bit uh, uh, difficult, especially working with trap code. But uh, because I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of trap code, um, I'm just basically going to show you how to do this effect, and you can take it from there to create your own effects from it. So, with that in mind, let's get started. Uh, this particular effect is broken. Particular effect is broken down over several layers. So let's just take a look at that by shedding off everything and then just bring them up one at a time. First, we have our trail here that's uh, composed of or put together of the spheres that are being generated by trap coat, the particles. And you get these little spheres that are falling away as, it, as a uh, trail begins and comes in and goes out. On top of that, I created another trail, basically a duplicate trail, but turn the spheres into stars. So you can see those sort of blending in with this sphere. So now you have spheres and stars. And on top of that, I pre-comped and created three more layers, which I call drip layers, which when I turn them on, you can see them here. It's all these little globs that are falling away from the trail. In fact, what I'll do, I'll turn the trail off so you can see them better. There you go. It's these little things, these little globs of dust that are sort of bunched together and are falling away. And then uh, from there, I create an adjustment layer using a star glow, which is part of the trap code package that uh, actually adds a little bit more emphasis on the star and actually generates the color. So you get this real glow on the trail. I'll turn it on and off to give you a better idea of what's going on. And that's basically what we're going to be building. Everything is attached to a node, so I can uh, use the Z space to go way off into a distance and back right back at the camera. So basically, like I said, we have our build comp, which is the comp we're looking at here, this, this area here. Then we have our drip comps, comps <laughs> drip one, which, uh, there you go, there it is. And we also have drip two, let's bring it up here, and drip three. And once again, these are all sort of once you build the first one, you can derive the rest from that. They're just different sizes, different coming, you know, as far as the size of the spheres within the comp and um, are falling at different rates. And that's pretty much it. So with that in mind, let's get started. Let's have some fun with this. Bye.